powerful to be a worshiper, to worship in spirit and in truth. He's yeah. worthy. Amen. In spirit and truth. And um, as reflecting on that, we think about what does it mean to, to worship in spirit and truth? Is it spirit, my spirit? Is it the Holy Spirit? I think it's both. Um, uh, it's, it's the spirit of God that empowers us to, to worship God, and we, we worship him in our spirit. Um, it obviously includes our, our body and our soul, too, as we just talked about. And truth, um, that's Jesus. Truth is a person. Without Christ, we can't really worship God. We need, we need Jesus. We need the truth. You know, I think it's interesting. It's so true. And he is so true. So true. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, what we do during the week really affects us, the worth of coming together corporately. You had, I love that point. Is he worthy mm -hmm. to, for us to join together like we're doing this morning, like we're all doing? It was worth our time to get up. It mm. was worth the effort to serve. It was worth the effort for a volunteer team to learn the songs and to be able to lead us the way. That it's worth it. But what makes it worth it is during the week, the anticipation. So during the week, is it worth getting up in the morning to spend time in, do you want to hear his words? I think mm. for me... I, I have to, I even have to pray, God, I want to continue to hear your word. I want that to be the highest priority in my life yeah. because there's other words, there's other voices that are speaking so loudly mm -hmm. that I want his voice to be the loudest so that when I'm in my private time during the week, it's worth it for me. So there's an anticipation to be with everybody else. Absolutely. Yeah. I think we, it's a daily thing that we, we have a relationship with God. We're not just coming to church because um, our Christianity is our religion. It is, but it's so much more than that. It's a relationship. And if you love someone and he's always present, which God is, not people are not always present with you, but God is always present. His spirit is living on the inside of you. And you want to talk to him. You want to hear his, his voice. Yeah. And that's found in the scriptures. If you want to know the will of God, you want to know his character, you want to know what he likes and he dislikes, then that's where you go. And that's where we find, I think, as we study God's word, that should bring us to our knees in place of worship. And that's that verse that, you know, Pastor Dave was talking about looking back mm. in Exodus. Mm. When you go into his word, really what you're doing is you're looking back at the things that he performed. He said, don't forget what I did for you in Egypt. Yeah. Um, bless the Lord. Forget not my benefits. Mm -hmm. And going into a place of worship, even to corporately like this, you, I'm sure you do the same thing. I, I actually think of things. I think of miracles that he's done. I think of answers to prayer mm -hmm. that he has, has given to me. Experiences like being in the Philippines where it was just such a supernatural presence his presence was almost tangible. You think of those things because uh, as you remember those, it brings you into a, a place. Yeah. Don't forget, you know, forget, don't forget his benefits. Remember what he did. Remember what he brought you out of. Remember those answers to prayer. Remember, someone said, God, help me remember what it was like before I made you the worthy one, the one mm -hmm. that you were meant to be. Help me to remember how I thought. And I think, oh, that's like a different Cheryl. I, mm -hmm. I'm so thankful. I, I just have to worship you for how you transformed me, how you changed me, yeah. which is what the wise men, they weren't Jew. Mm -hmm. They would they had no Jewish background. Far, Pastor Fari, people. they were like you. It could East. have been it could have been names like, you know, some of the wise men <clears throat> like Bartabors and, yes. and Payam <laughs> were going, you know, like here's these guys that are they didn't have names, mm -hmm. they didn't have Jewish names, they didn't have English names. But they had a revelation mm -hmm. that they had been studying. They had been looking back. They had been studying. Yeah, the scripture, the Jewish yes. scriptures. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And I think if you're new, um, you might not even be a believer yet. But I think it's like, okay, how do I come to that place of remembering what God has done for me? You go to the cross. Jesus, he did that for all of us. He's, he did that for you and I. Yeah. And so we, and that's why Jesus said, do this uh, as a remembrance uh, and then we do that in communion, right? We take communion and we remember what he did for us. Mm -hmm. And that, again, the cross, the, the sacrifice of Jesus is at the, at the center of, of our faith. because It reminds us of what God did for us. Mm -hmm. and when you do that, remember that. You know, I think an encouragement as, a, as an action item to leave with is if you have never bowed down 
before the Lord, mm. even privately in your own home or together with your spouse or as a family, say, we're going to, we're just going to spend, it doesn't have to be like, we're going to 10 o'clock, we're going to, or whatever time it is, it's six o'clock, mm. we're all going to sit down and we're all going to get on our knees. No, let it just be an act of worship. Say, can we worship Jesus mm -hmm. together? It doesn't have to be long. Let's get on our knees as an, as, as an action item, like the wise men mm -hmm. for them, because there was such a, an anticipation to meet him and to be in his presence. It was easy for them to bow down before mm -hmm. him. And an action item was be I, on your own. Worship him by bowing down, by kneeling, by worshiping, by lifting your hands alone. I guarantee you, as we do that as individuals, when we come together corporately, it's just a natural mm -hmm. for us to do it with other people because it's already become a part of our life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's again, telling our bodies that sometimes you might not feel like it. It's like saying, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to tell my body to, to do that. Mm -hmm. you, you'll kneel before the king. Yeah. And so, again, as Pastor Dave said, it's to, the more we know about God, the more we know about the king, um, I think the more in line we fall with how we should treat God, how we should respond to him, mm -hmm. and it comes from that place of honor. And the giving coincides with that. Absolutely. You know, you yeah. mentioned that more than any other you know, more than anyone on this planet that you give gifts to me. And you you are so kind and generous to me. But I'm going to I'm going to beg to differ because I've seen you give more to God mm -hmm. than you have to me. Yeah. You have but you have even even in in the gifts of saying to me, Cheryl, I really feel like we need to give this and it's it's enough that it hurts. It's like, are you sure that was God? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is gonna, you know, it's 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 a it's a sacrifice of praise, and and you you do that. And I think that's a good point for us as well. Uh, is in that last point of the message is that we give in a place mm -hmm. of worship is a worthship. Mm -hmm. it, is he worth it? Is his kingdom worth it yes and he says like in second corinthians if you if you sow sparingly you'll reap sparing that sparingly is like you're going to be it's going to you're going to be stingy mm -hmm. that's what your life is going to be oh i better not do that yeah. but if you sow bountifully and one of the core words of bountiful is praise if you sow from a place of praise mm -hmm. you're going to reap that that's and it. i don't know how god does that but he says he will he does. And we can't have two masters. That's why he said, you know, you can't worship God and money. Yeah. So it's very clear on that. And therefore, we bring him our money to say, God, we worship you and not money. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah. Amen. All right. God bless you. Thanks for staying with us online.